Hey guys, EpicCG here with the tutorial on how to take apart your Xbox 360 hard drive and plug it up to your computer. Now, this computer is just a normal computer. Nothing special about it. So it'll work for anything. Just make sure it's a desktop computer. Laptop computer, you don't want to mess with those. A little bit harder. And this right here will save you time by saving you probably 10 days worth of time for that stupid transfer cable to ship from Microsoft after you call them or if you bought it for like 10 bucks somewhere and got ripped off so all you need here obviously the hard drive a T6 and T10 Torx drill bit or screwdriver I have the screwdriver that the bits come with and these bits if you have the right little screwdriver screw thingy, um, these are like two bucks a piece. I already had the T10 one, they're very common, and the T6 one I just got for two bucks, like Home Depot or Ace Hardware or somewhere, near hardware store. It's a lot better to find than the screwdrivers. And something to put the screws in when you take them out. I just have a bowl, a little work, bag, piece of paper, whatever, figure out something to use with. All right. Take out the hard drive. Press the button, let's go, and there we go. Mine's only a 20 gig hard drive. Very small, but it's okay. The same thing will work for all the other hard drives, including 120 gigs, 60 gigs, or whatever the heck you have. As long as you have a hard drive like this, it'll work. Now, there are four screws, T6 screws, on the outside. One there, one there, one there, one there. Now one here will be underneath a Microsoft Silver sticker, the warranty sticker. Now once you pull this off, obviously the warranty is voided, but oh well, unless you fry the thing, you probably just interchange the drives anyways. They're not that cheap, I mean, they're not that expensive on eBay. Now to get the sticker off, you just peel it off, probably a bit more messy, or if you want to be more clean about it, poke a hole through it right where you think the screw is, and drill the screw out. Now I just kind of peeled mine off because I was being an idiot, but now to take these screws out, lay it down here, take my screwdriver, put in the T6 one here, there we are, fits in there nicely, and just I'm going to pause the video while, oops, drop the camera, <laughs> stay. Now I'm just going to take these four screws out here. Now I'm going to pause the video and I will start it again when all these screws are out. Alright, I'm back and these four screws have been taken out. And now all we need to do is take off this top piece here. It'll just lift up and this, the hardest part is, is there's two clips up here at the front. So you have to pretty much push forward and up at the same time. I got one. There we go. It was a lot faster than normal. And this thing will usually pop out or if you're careful with it, it won't. I'll put this back together spring right here, put it in that slot, take the black piece and slide it into the screw and down in there and the button just gonna place it where it needs to go. Ta-da! Okay now there's the metal plate here that's very easy to take off there's just four screws here that are the T10 screws so as you can see I changed the bit out it's bigger now, T10 there, there, there and there. Pause the video again. Start it up when I have these screws out. Alright, got the four screws out. And this is probably the easiest part to take off here. Just kind of lift this up. Try not to cut your fingers on the edges. Push, lift up. There we go. And now you're left with your awesome little hard drive. For some reason, they sell for very expensive since all it is is an expensive case. Fancy case with the hard drive inside. What a rip off. But, this is just a normal laptop 2.5 inch, I believe, hard drive, 20 gig, 120 gig, whatever, whatever you have, all the same. Now it is hooked up to this black connector here, which has the SATA and CA cord pretty much hooked up to transfer into this X SATA, which goes into the Xbox. Now to pull this off, just comes off very easily. Slide, push, put pressure on both the black connector and the edge over here of the Hard drive, pull apart. I'll try not to touch the top circuit board here, at least, le, uh, 
the least amount as possible. It might short it out if you're not grounded. I'm, of course, on a rug. Not smart. But, oh well. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. <laughs> Alright, I'll just kind of take the sides of it and push it out. Just push down on this and pull up on the hard drive and try and get one side coming up, not the other. There we go. And it comes out like that. Slide. Ta-da! Got it. Now, doesn't matter what kind of company you have, it all works the same. Should just have the smaller SATA hookup and the CA hookup, the power cable, pretty much. You'll be left with this, leave that to the side, don't mess with it. And now we need to put it in our fancy computer, which mine is not fancy, but that doesn't matter. Ugh. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. Another hard drive here, gonna move some stuff. Okay. Now, your SATA cord is this red wire that's probably red for most computers. And it will just have a little black connector on it. It says SATA, so very easy to identify. Slip that on the smaller connection. It should clip on or whatever. And then the bigger black CA connection that usually if your computer has these white connections here. Let's see if I can find an open one. No. But they're just very simple. The, usually the four prong ones that go in like IDE drives or whatever. That's what that's for. And they have adapters that plugs into these and turns it into the CA thing, which I have. That came with my hard drive in here. And this just is the yellow, black, and red wires that are easily identified. And plug that baby right into the larger connection. So it clicks or this is firmly secured and there we go stick that in there it's hooked up now while you're doing this make sure the computer's off I should have mentioned that earlier and so because it won't be able to recognize it until it turn unless you like restart it if you're turning it on while your computer's on now the SATA card can be hooked up to your motherboard or to the or to a SATA card I have a PCI SATA card, doesn't matter. Both work the same way. Use this for any computer, any hard drive. Very easy to do. Probably works a lot better than the silly transfer cable. And saves you time. Like, as you can see, I did this in like 10 minutes. Okay. So, how to do this? That's how to do it. And, of course, this works for both the. Explore 360 and Export 360, any version, and just it'll be easily be easily recognized, so you can mod your games and unlock your achievements, which I will have tutorials on that, and it'll, hopefully in a little while, if not already up there. This is how to take apart and connect your hard drive onto your computer for use with Export and Explore. I'll see you guys next time.